all right guys for kaguya here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are so leveling arise will be the topic again uh on today's video so i know uh we already did check out the roadmap of the game but it was in the beginning before an actual early access so we didn't know how exactly the game's gonna work okay so on today's video i want to check out that full roadmap related for, for the solo leveling arise and then we're gonna make a lot of conclusions from that since now i reached the end game i pretty much know how everything works of course there is always something new to learn but most most of the stuff i i know how it works right so we're gonna watch now the roadmap and then we're gonna make a conclusion about the full banner schedule uh new shadows new hunters 100 festival 100 days festival and many other things so we can make a conclusion about that okay so let me go and check it out this is mainly why i'm doing this so you know how the global will start because we literally have the patterns we already know who are the new characters so first new character that's gonna drop will be Tsa then it's gonna be Alicia then Beast Form Bike that's how it's gonna go I doubt they will release those characters at the same time or something like that these banners will be separate and they will be a radar banner where you're gonna be able to use your uh, limited tickets uh, many people ask me when Choi will leave uh, will this ticket leave with him of course not this is the summoning material you're gonna use on every single radar banner no matter is it is it Sa, Alicia, Choi okay so that's about that part also in three days and 18 hours from now you can expect uh the new content on early access and most likely the tsar will drop with other things we're gonna check out now the roadmap and we're gonna have a crystal crystal clear picture of the full schedule i also want to mention this before i go and check out the roadmap and uh, knowing netmore ball we can expect developer notes in about every 30 days have that in mind as well so we're gonna know a lot and i believe from in like one two days uh they will definitely give us the details of the update that is happening in three days and 18 hours so we're gonna know much more but what i'm way more interested here is the roadmap and the conclusions we can now make after i reach the end game and i know much more i have in mind masdol already posted a few stuff that pretty much confirms what's gonna happen during the global launch but early access might get this stuff uh, earlier of course makes sense right uh, check out my yesterday's video i explained why and the proofs and all of that so you, you can check it out so i don't repeat myself may june update so chapter 16 and 18 will happen so if i go here uh yeah we currently have like 15 chapters right so they're gonna add two more chapters uh of course nice more content and everything else and as well here uh, they teased the shaman king or something like that so and also tusk if i'm not mistaken here uh when you click on this the video will appear we already check it out so i won't do it again again beautiful we're gonna have content so we don't have to worry wave mode defeat and uh wave of monsters original story chapter more free uh more free free summons just the studio guild and alicia new hunter chai and alicia it's gonna happen in may uh and june right we're gonna see now by the roadmap and then new shadow uh tusk if i'm not mistaken okay and this new shadow will drop uh you, you will see by the roadmap now everything will be clear but i need to mention this because this is the only shadow we are still waiting so it gets unlocked okay and while i'm here will i make a separate video about this i'm not sure because overall just like choose three shadows for now keep on saving because who knows this shadow might be way more broken than other shadows or iron or whoever you want to unlock third okay uh, now let's focus just on the roadmap just wanted to make this uh, intro so everything is clear and as well you can expect literally a new weapon for sunk which is super broken weapon 
like really really busted weapon we already talked about with that weapon i might mention this at the end we're gonna double check that if you wanna we're gonna see uh but this is the roadmap now let's discuss everything uh may uh, demon castle first floor story arc release something new original story update also new um now one i'm telling you in three days this is my prediction right now in three days um three plus days it's three, three days and 14 hours or something like that this will happen in my eyes since it's early access we will get some content earlier than actual global launch that's what i would say so it is possible we're gonna get demon castle original story update new hunter and weapon which is Tsa. okay we are getting Tsa and the weapon which we are getting for free then we have time attack mode season one and then new content monster wave this is something what Mazdol also mentioned here so everything uh colorates perfectly fits perfectly okay now look at the june and pay attention like th th this video is mainly to show you the full banner schedule for the like global at the end of the day so car girl gun story arc release original story update so here we're probably getting one chapter then another chapter original story update new hunter and shadow and uh, this is where alicia will drop so you're gonna get saw original story and then alicia original story yeah I, I believe so and then we have new hunter and shadow that's what i predict it's gonna be alicia and the new shadow tusk uh, finally we're gonna be able to unlock the shadow now don't worry uh, shadows won't be summonable uh, i believe they're gonna be added just here and then you're gonna unlock them with traces of shadow and then in future we can expect the exclusive weapon summons etc related to the shadows so they're gonna definitely go berserk over time uh so yeah that's my prediction here uh time attack mode season two i mean prediction we know it's gonna happen uh time attack mode season two new rate and first solo leveling preliminary round that's pretty epic now july guild content perfect we're gonna have guilds it's gonna be crazy fun i'll make my own guild original story update okay new hunter and weapon and shadow so as you can see the pattern is clear First, we're getting new hunter and weapon, then new hunter and shadow, then new hunter and weapon and shadow. Then again, we go into the circle new hunter and weapon, new hunter and shadow, new hunter and weapon and shadow, and so on and so on and so on. You will see now we're gonna go in more detail. So we know already how they're gonna do stuff. Again, don't worry, the shadow won't be summonable, but you will need those shadow traces. So I'll make a separate video talking about this because you should definitely save up. Who knows how broken the shadow will be? Okay, have or not, but I believe it's gonna be crazy. Uh, yeah, like I said, new hunter, sh sh weapon shadow, time attack mode season 3, first solo leveling championship main round, and then August, we have 100 days anniversary update. They could low-key also add some festival characters, but I believe it's too soon, honestly. Uh, original story update. And then we have again new hunter and weapon content update roguelike 100 days festival definitely login bonuses freebies codes all of that maybe some special character maybe it's gonna be festival character first all leveling championship finale and then we have in september demon castle high floor story arc release original story update then another new hunter and shadow i don't i don't know who's gonna be like this one will be cha ta this one will be alicia and then this one will be beast form bike in july right and then later on i just don't know uh okay new hunter shadow the time attack season four new raid so as you can see there's plenty of content second soul leveling preliminary round uh october new content boss attack original story new hunter and weapon and shadow time attack mode season five second soul leveling championship main round and here we are november half anniversary update half anniversary festival festival fe a lot of festivals they tend to do festival characters now don't worry uh knowing that marble they won't create another separate banner i believe this is the two banners we're gonna have and then we're gonna play around and then if they create a festival character they're gonna just put it here and it's gonna be special crazy looking art whatever 
Uh, where are we at? I don't even know. Yeah, October. Uh, yeah, November. Original story. I'll, like, literally every month we're getting original story update. Um, we're getting new hunter weapons. Sometimes even uh, shadows. Sometimes even all three. Uh, contest extension. Half anniversary festival. And then first... Uh, soul allowing championship finale december uh, jeju island story arc release plus maximum level increase interesting original story update new hunter and weapon and shadow time attack mode season six and new content new world boss so literally every month of this game is full-on stacked with content realistically looking at this now especially what everything you knew you need to do in the game to progress i believe that will be really colorful and interesting especially this like uh, web you're waiting for hunters you're waiting for weapons you're waiting for shadows it is hype bro it is hype original story updates and many other things like related to the chapters freebies uh game modes everything okay guys so we can make a conclusion now that soul leveling arise um, now and especially during the global launch will be super stacked we're gonna have uh, every month we're gonna have a new hunter new weapon sometimes new hunter then new shadow and sometimes all three together it has a cycle uh, again you won't be able you won't summon for shadows you will unlock them with traces so be careful with that material uh your characters will be added here uh, the weapons will be for free guys have that in mind pretty much ssr weapons will be for free related to the exclusive characters at least for now you will have like uh choi has this um event right here the same the same event will have tie and then like this you're gonna get also free weapons so there is plenty of freebies plenty of free summons we just have that problem with gold but then again if you manage it correctly there are many free to plays who are managing just fine but of course the coins are the ones that time gates you we don't have the stamina or anything like that so if you want to progress faster if you want to level up faster you're gonna have to spend money they have to do this to earn. Now, should they balance it out? Yes. And we're going to see what it what they're going to do on the update. Uh, so, guys, just I know, again, I know most of the stuff we actually mentioned that. But just wanted to firm, uh, firmly show you the actual uh, global banner schedules and the shadows and the new hunters and the weapons and the chapters. Because now we know much more about the game, so we, we, we were able to talk it in more detailed way. Okay, guys, hopefully you did enjoy it. It's Sunday, uh, probably I'm done for today. Uh, for the next week, I have to, not have to, but I have to slightly catch up AFK journey. Ah, oh, man, that lack of time, bro. And also, I will show you I got some present from developers of AFK Journey, which is insane. They sent me a package. So definitely, I'll make a post so you're going to be able to see that part, okay? Uh, so yeah, definitely will play also AFK Journey. Sorry, I'm mainly uploading now Soul Level Arise, but I just enjoyed this game so much and making content on this game. And as well... Um, this is also benefiting my channel overall but still i will i play one piece dream pointer still i know there was an update uh, i didn't cover that one i'll cover the next one mihawk i have plenty of summons saved so there'll be other content but for now uh but usually you're gonna see soul level in the rise okay that's that love ya and bye